Okay, hello again. We are back. And what are we doing? We are studying uh, the present continuous tense. And we will, we will go on, go on studying. Now, this studying is gerund because of uh, preposition on. We will go on studying present continuous tense in details. We will see some details in of details of the present continuous tense. Okay. Let me share our new presentation. Okay, all right. And hello again. And uh, let's go on, continue, also possible, yes. Let's continue doing something, continue uh, studying, uh, knowing, yes, knowing uh, present continuous tense better and better. Okay. Now, it is also good that, what is good? It is also good that we are at the beginning of a new tour. In fact, actually, we are at the beginning of the last, last tour of Harmony 1, of beginner and elementary level. Okay, the, so in this tour, in this unit, uh, we will study, again, of course, to be sentences, plus imperative sentences, module uh, sentences, te uh, tense verb sentences, and we will uh, we will get to know, we will get to know the simple past tense, uh, including uh, the simple past tense of to be, simple past tense of could, uh, of can, as could, and action words, of course. Yes, all the simple past, past forms of them. Okay, uh, in this trip, uh, one, Yes, our basic major topic is again, of course, the present continuous tense in detail. Okay. Now, dialogue one. Yes. Can you see three people, three young men in the photograph? They are doing something. They are doing something. What are they doing? Uh, dialogue one, eight. They are making, they are making burgul to serve 40 people. Who is helping the chef? Murat and Ahmed are helping the chef. Are you going to that feast now? Yes, I am also going to that feast now, according to that situation, that state. Okay. Dialogue two. I am going to a dinner party. I am going to a dinner party. Where are you going? I am going to a feast. Who is giving the feast? The residents of, of that neighborhood, the residents of that neighborhood are giving the feast. Or residents means inhabitants or dwellers. Dwellers are giving the feast. Inhabitants of that region are giving the feast. What is this page about? I think it's an extra page about a general a parenthesis information, I think. Okay, up versus down. Up opposing to down. Up, yes, and down. Go upstairs, for example. Go downstairs. What are you doing now, for example, a person? Uh, he says, I am going downstairs or if he is going upstairs i am going upstairs uh, it's difficult to go adjective to do you know this it's difficult to go up up hills yes it is difficult what about going down hills of course it is easy to go down hills roman number two there is a downhill for every uphill yes this is uh, i think there is a proverb like this there is a downhill for every uphill, or every uh, uphill has a downhill. 
Is there an appeal for every downhill as well? Yes, there is. There is. There is an appeal for every downhill uh, as well. Is every uphill has every uphill got a downhill? Yes, every uphill has got a downhill. Or does every uphill have a downhill? Yes, every uphill has a downhill. Roman number three. Penguins are black and white. Televisions are not black and white anymore. There are color televisions now. Are there color penguins as well? Of course, no. There aren't color penguins. They are always black and white. Okay. I don't know why this page is here, but maybe because of a question we put it here. I think it is. it will be useful for you as well. Okay, now our topic is this. Uh, let's compare. Let's compare what uh, with what. Uh, let's compare uh, simple present tense with present continuous tense. For example, Sami usually plays mini golf, but he is playing table tennis today. Oh, yes. It's a nice dialogue. Sami usually always plays mini golf, but look, look at Sami. He is playing table tennis today. What about Harun? Harun usually sings folk, folk songs, but listen to Harun. He is singing rock. He is singing a rock song today. Something like this. Or he is playing drums. He is playing chess. He is playing with a magic cube or Rubik's cube. These are the alternative ways of or usages of the word play. Play music, play chess, play with something. Okay. Present, future. Sally Miller is reading a brochure. Okay. It's simple. Sally Miller is reading a brochure now, at the moment. She is planning to go to Istanbul. Hmm. She is planning to go to Istanbul. Who is she meeting tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, it has got a future message. Although it is uh, in the present continuous structure, it has got a present future. Let's get accustomed to it. Okay. Let's get used to it. Who is she meeting tomorrow? She is meeting her cousin tomorrow. Okay. Dialogue five. Terry is a pessimist. He is always telling sad stories. Sad stories. Who is an optimist? Duncan is an optimist. Why do you think so? Why is Duncan an optimist? Because he is always telling happy stories without sadness in them. Okay. He is viewing the full part. He is viewing the full side, full part, full side or aspect. These are beautiful alternatives using uh, after that kind of verb, uh, adjectives. Full part, full side, full aspect of a glass of water. Huh? Duncan always sees the full part uh, of a glass of water. But uh, Terry always sees the empty side, empty part of a glass of water. Full is the opposite of empty. See or view. You can use them interchangeably. You can use see in place of view or you can use view in place of see as a verb. Of. View is also a noun. For example, uh, this is a beautiful view. Is also possible. Dialogue six. Mr. Miller is always looking for a fault. He is always looking for a mistake, an error, a defect 
in your studies. Who is always criticizing you? Uh, George, uh, George Green always criticizing me. Who always appreciates your effort? My parents always appreciate my effort. Seven, I am working in an office with my old fellow, with my old friend nowadays. Where are you working and who are you working with? I am working, uh, I am working at a, at a supermarket uh, nowadays and I am working with my work fellow, Alex. Work fellow or fellow worker, fellow worker, both are possible. Okay. Now the image says employment application form, application form, employment to get a job. Okay. Dialogue eight. Metin is always walking around the city center or in American English, the downtown. Metin is always walking around, around the downtown nowadays. Who is looking for a job nowadays? Mesut is looking for a job nowadays. What's Murat doing nowadays? Murat is writing a children's story nowadays. Or Murat is writing a story for children nowadays. This is also possible. Again, be, do, and have. Subject plus be plus being, getting, becoming. This is really important. Especially be plus getting. Yes, an adjective. Patient, for example, uh, before dialogue, let's, uh, uh, let's focus on these adjectives. For example, we can say, uh, David is patient, is enough. But now our subject is David is being patient. Congratulations, David. You are being patient. You are getting patient. You have started to be patient. Okay. Imperative, for example, don't get please or stop. Stop being impatient. Why are you being impatient? Yes. Tarık is being impatient. But look at Ayhan. Ayhan is being careful. Congratulations, Ayhan. You are being careful. Careless. Who is being careless? Unfortunately, my new friend is being careless. Yes. And he is being silly, stupid. Who is being angry? Bill is being angry. Who is being hungry? Bob is being hungry. Let's give him some food. Let's provide some food for him. Okay, dialogue nine. I am being hungry. I am being adjective. I am being hungry. Are you being hungry or angry? I am being hungry as well. I am not, thank God, I am not being angry. Ten, Berna is getting kind. Yes, Berna is always kind, present tense of to be. Berna is always kind. But look at her today. Again, Berna is getting kind to your friends. He is kind to everybody and look at Berna and look at your friends. Berna is getting kind to your friends. Who is becoming unkind to them? Nobody. Nobody is becoming unkind to them. Twelve. Sevda is getting foolish. By doing what? Sevda is getting foolish. She isn't a foolish lady. She isn't a foolish girl. But why? By doing what? Is she getting foolish? 
she is getting foolish by spending so much money. How is Sami getting so foolish? Yeah, unfortunately, Sami is a gentleman. He is a tactful person. He is a diplomatic person. He is a very kind person. But what's happening to Sami today? Sami is getting so foolish by gossiping, by not sharing, for example, by not sharing his beautiful ideas, beautiful experience with the others. There is something strange. Sami is getting foolish by gossiping. Gossiping is a negative quality. Fake news and bullying, unfortunately, these are also negative things. Laugh and be happy, the image says, laugh and be happy, and dignity, these are uh, human values, human good traits, human good qualities. Okay. I am getting unhappy because they are talking about negative things. Why are you being happy? I am being happy because my friends are uh, are getting uh, getting kind. They are getting peaceful. They are getting hopeful. They are getting faithful. They are getting fair. Yeah. So uh, I am being happy. I am getting happy. I am becoming. Okay. 13A. Congratulations. Congratulations or congrats. Congrats. Also possible. Congratulations. You are being very careful. You are being very careful about talking his story. I appreciate your heedfulness, attentiveness, mindfulness, caution, carefulness. Yes. Heedfulness is a beautiful uh, quality. I appreciate your heedfulness. Why aren't they being very careful about talking such important things, such vital things? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they don't know either. Okay, they are being uh, they are not they are not being careful about talking uh, talking such things such as history, such as education, such as culture, such as uh, civilization, etc., etc., and so on, so on. Okay, yes, uh, please uh, uh, keep those expressions uh, in your mind. Uh, they are the they are the qualities they are the they are the characteristics of present continuous tense they tell a lot of things about uh, the present continuous tense the time expressions of the present continuous tense now yes right now yes at the moment of course, we can use adjective and, for example, the weather is rainy, adjective now. The weather is rainy now, but the weather is raining. For example, the weather is sunny. It is also possible right now. Or the uh, the sun is shining, for example. The sun is shining now. Continuous action. At the moment, attention, at the moment, at this very moment, or at this moment is also possible, but attention at present. There is no the. Yes, the sun is shining at present. We are still learning present continuous tense at present. Or nowadays, yeah. Nowadays, we are studying English <coughs> in general nowadays. Today, today we are studying English. Tonight, always to express complaint. Yes, it has got a specific meaning. For example, uh, you you express your complaint. Ahmed, 
Stop complaining. You are always complaining. You are always criticizing your friends. Yeah, you are always criticizing your friends to express your complaint, uh, your dislike. Still, yes, as I said, we are still studying present continuous tense. We are still studying present continuous tense. Currently, currently. Okay, for the time being, it is a beautiful expression. Now we are studying present continuous tense. Or we are studying present continuous tense for the time being. Presently is also beautiful. Presently. At the present time. Yes, now here... At present, there is no the, <coughs> but at the present time, because of time. At the present time, I am drinking tea, for example. Okay, let's go ahead. The present continuous tense is used for A, B, C. Which one is the a major function? or usage, let's see. A, temporary situations, a temporary situations, actions happening at or around the moment of speaking. Yes, this is one of the major fields, major aspects of present, con major sides, yeah, of present continuous tense. B, Frequently repeated actions with always constantly to express annoyance or criticism. Yes, with always. You are always, uh, you are always shouting. You are always, you are always criticizing me. You are always, uh, you are always, when, you, uh, the, for if somebody does, yeah, the doing, if somebody is doing the actions, uh, the actions which are wrong, which are ugly, yes, which are not true, okay, by using always, okay, it is clear, we will discuss in the following uh, intermediate uh, subjects again, see, fixed arrangements in the near future, yeah, this is the future usage, but A is a 90% present continuous tense, is all about A, A, okay. Fixed arrangements, future usage, uh, using present continuous tense for future messages or meanings. We are having a meeting, yes, we made a sentence like this. I am going to Istanbul tomorrow, okay. We are having an exam next week. Okay, verbs, oh, this is also important. Verbs that cannot be used in the progressive. Verbs uh, that do not take ing, but they give the message of ing form, present continuous form. What are they? Let's see them. Verbs which express a situation or process rather than describing or a, def a definite action are not usually used in the progressive. Do not use the progressive with the following verbs. For example, do you believe we cannot put ing? Is it clear? Do you like? But in meaning, we understand it as if there is ing. Yeah. Present tense, but they are always in present tense, but their message is always in present continuous tense. I agree with you, for example. I agree with you. Yeah? Now. Now. I agree with you now. I know. I know. Ahmed. I know English. I know the answer. Yeah? I love my children. I love my friends, yeah? You should feel the ING there. Although there isn't ING, it isn't present continuous tense uh, in structure or from the point of structure. 
it gives a simple present continuous tense message. I disagree with you, for example. I disagree with you. I recognize. Yes, I notice. I hate a negative verb. I mean, yes, I mean you are right. I remember, yes, I remember the date. I remember that day. Okay. No ing. I prefer now. I prefer to continue. I don't prefer to stop. I prefer to continue. I need, I need an umbrella. Yes. I understand you without ING. I understand you. Your question is very good. I understand you. I want no ING. I want a car. I want to buy a car. I wonder, I wonder where Ahmet is. Wonder means want to know. I want to know where Ahmet is. I wonder the answer. I want to know the answer now, now, right now. You deserve, you deserve a golden medal. Yes. I wish, I wish you, I wish you a good day. I wish you a good night. I wish you well-being. I wish you happiness. I wish you success. Belong. This telephone belongs to Aisha. Yeah, B is also like this. From the point of, for example, uh, Ali is a doctor. We can't say ing, okay, but with some certain adjectives, Ali is being is possible. Ali is being happy, it's possible, yes. Have, we cannot say, we cannot put ing, we cannot use have with MSR, for example. I have a house, no ing. I have a house, okay? But uh, for some actions, I am having a picnic. I am having a picnic tomorrow. Ali and Vili are having an exam. It's, it is possible that time. Yes. C is also like this. I see. I see you. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But if you use ING, we will discuss them again in the following lessons in full presentations. For example, if you see, if you say, I am seeing Mr. Brown today means I am meeting. Yes, you say that you are meeting Mr. Brown. But we see with our eyes. Okay. Do you recognize? Without ING. Do you recognize the change in weather? No ING. Now, right now. Do you recognize the change in weather? Yes, yes. I recognize the change in weather very well. Okay. No ING. But as if there is ING and M is to be. But there is no to be. No to be variations or uh, variants. Okay, let's go forward. This is important, but uh, it will be in our agenda in the future subjects as well. I hope you will have, uh, I hope you have uh, now a general opinion about that kind of stative, stative verbs. Okay, okay 14. I believe, for example, yeah, I believe that we are responsible for our choices. No ING. And experts say that do not pronounce the wrong form of something. Yeah. Okay. What do you believe? I believe, I believe that, I believe that the honest people 
uh, will will win. Okay. I like folk music. What kind of music do you like? I like pop music. I like mystical music. I like classical art music. I like jazz music. Or I like slow music. Okay. I like. I know what Nabi is planning something. Do you know what he is planning? No, unfortunately, I don't know. No, I end it. What he is planning. Do you know what Melissa likes? No, I don't know what she likes. Okay. Yes, I know what Melissa likes. She likes working, studying, reading, etc. 17a. Of course, I agree that science and art are necessary for us. I accept this idea. I accept this opinion. I agree that science and art are necessary for us. Do you agree that ethics is also necessary for us? Yes, I agree that ethics is also necessary for us. Of course, I agree that. Sure, certainly, absolutely, I agree that ethics is also necessary for us. Trade, commerce, politics is also necessary for us. Dialogue is also necessary for us because we cannot speak alone. We we speak, uh, we speak to or we talk to uh, the other people around us. Okay, what's it about? 18. Let's see what it's about. A, I wonder how she can learn judo. I wonder, I want to know. This is really important. I wonder it. What do you wonder? I wonder how, not question, conjunction, how she can learn judo. This is how close here. How close. I wonder how she can learn judo. What do you wonder? I wonder how she will talk to Ahmed. Or I wonder who she will talk to. I wonder what she will eat. I wonder, I wonder what you will drink. What you will drink. Okay. I wonder if, if you play table tennis. Or I wonder how you play table tennis. I wonder if you want to communicate with people. Okay etc etc I wonder how long COVID-19 will continue will last I wonder how long COVID-19 the pandemic will continue will last okay we will always uh, study uh, those question words as conjunctions both in intermediate level and advanced level, even advanced level, and you will completely understand uh, their identities, or you will completely understand what they are, what really they are. Okay. Okay, now quiz time again. Quiz two, six, and trip one. Please choose the correct alternative. One, Sami usually blank mini golf present tense, but his blank table tennis today continues tense. So, Sami usually, where is place, place, place here? Place, D. Yes, do you see D? Sami usually plays mini golf, but he is playing. There is no need to examine the rest. Okay. I am blank, M, there is M. I am blank my way to the train station. Where are you going? Where are you heading? Yes, it is also very popular. Where are you heading? Okay. 
uh, I am. Ah, this is the proposition. It's a matter of proposition to be on the way of. Yes, I am uh, on the way or on my way. I am on my way to the train station. Where are you going? Yes, to be on the way means going towards somewhere or to heading. Okay, where are you heading? I am heading uh, to the library. I am going to the library. Terry is a blank. He is always telling sad stories. Yes. Ah, but which one? Which is noun? Which is adjective? Pessimistic is adjective. Pessimist is the noun. So if the because there is a, we should choose the noun. Pessimist. A. Terry is a pessimist. He is always telling sad stories. Metin, all, Metin is always walking, playing the city center nowadays. Yes, Metin is always walking around or about. Walk around, run around, drive around, ride around. Yes, maybe fly around in an helicopter. Yes. Five, I am getting unhappy. Blank, they are talking about negative things. Yeah, I am getting unhappy. What is the reason for my being unhappy? Because they are talking about negative things. Uh, let me read this sentence. They are talking as if they are feeling in my mind with smoke. Yes, a, a literal way of saying that you are unhappy. They are talking as if they are feeling in my mind with smoke, not with light, with beautiful things. Okay. Okay, now paragraph reading, like English acquiring, paragraph reading, it's time. Uh, for us to read our paragraphs. Solution oriented, yeah, nice. Solution oriented or solution centered perspective or problem oriented perspective, problem oriented one. It's acceptable adjective to do or to be or to have. It's acceptable to be, to be, to be contributing to solutions and being a part of solutions. Nevertheless, but it's unacceptable to be associated with causing problems and problems themselves. Members of a society, members of a society try to contribute to it positively. That's to say they concentrate on solving, relieving difficult situations. So this is the uh, solution-oriented perspective. Okay. The true solution. Okay. Solutions based just on knowledge are like a honeycomb. They are not bad. Yes, they are good, but they are just like a honeycomb. Okay. On the other hand, Solutions based just on the feelings are like nectar. But nectar needs the honeycomb. This one, honeycomb needs the nectar. The real solutions based on both mind and heart are like the real honey in the honeycomb. Because while our mind includes rules, patterns, knowledge, methods, techniques, Thoughts, opinions, discipline, regulations. This is honeycomb is the symbol of uh, these words. Our heart includes sincerity, honesty, as a nectar, as a nectar. Yes, but we cannot think of them without regulations, patterns. Okay. Sincerity, honesty, consideration, understanding, 
believe solidarity, modesty, love, courtesy, decency, dignity, jovi, 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 joviality, seriousness, persistence, permanency, coherence, broad-mindedness, resilience, yeah, like roses which never get pale. For example, problems are solved or we solve problems by means of thought and love, regulation and love. However, if thought and love are ignored, recklessness and hate comes forward. No solutions are found by means of recklessness and hate. We don't find solutions by means of recklessness and hate. Okay, this is the end of our video today and uh, I wish you a good day.